Have you ever wondered how scientists manage to categorize the vast diversity of life on our planet? Do they just randomly assign names and categories? Or is there a method to the madness? Welcome to the fascinating world of biological classification. Biological classification, my friends, is the science of categorizing organisms based on shared features. Picture it as organizing your music playlist where songs with similar beats or lyrics go into one group. The difference here is that instead of songs, we are classifying organisms and instead of beats and lyrics, we use shared characteristics. The journey of biological classification started with two primary kingdoms as proposed by Carolus Linnaeus in the mid 18th century. He divided the living world into two kingdoms, Plantae and Animalia. However, as scientific knowledge expanded, this system proved insufficient to accommodate the vast array of life forms. Fast forward to the 20th century and the Five Kingdom classification system came into existence thanks to Robert H. Whittaker. He included five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia, each with its unique characteristics. Monera, the first kingdom, comprises unicellular organisms with a prokaryotic cell organization like bacteria. Next, we've got Protista, a kingdom of unicellular organisms, but with a twist, they have a eukaryotic cell organization. Examples include amoeba and paramecium. Swipe to the third kingdom, fungi. These are multicellular eukaryotic organisms that absorb their food. Mushrooms, anyone? The fourth and fifth kingdoms, plantae and animalia, are probably the most familiar. Plantae includes all the green photosynthesizing plants around us, while animalia covers all animals, from tiny ants to towering elephants. However, the thirst for understanding life's complexity didn't stop there. In the late 20th century, Carl Woese proposed a three-domain system, which further divided the kingdom Monera into two domains, archaea and bacteria, while the third domain, eukarya, included all eukaryotic organisms. To summarize, biological classification is a systematic method of categorizing life forms based on shared characteristics. It started with a two-kingdom system, evolved into a five-kingdom system, and now we have a three-domain system. It's a testament to our ever-evolving understanding of life on Earth. So, the next time you see a creature scurrying by or a plant swaying in the wind, remember, they have their unique place in the grand playlist of life, thanks to biological classification. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.